Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a look based on Kim Kardashian's matte collection inspired by the 90s. Right here, I literally have an Instagram promo picture for the matte collection. Um, it's actually really really gorgeous, the colours are super 90s. First off, I'm going to be sitting foundation. Look as flawless as I can. Don't come to me now. I don't want your love. Don't come to me now. I don't want your love. Don't come to me. Now with the sponge, I'm just gonna carry up all the harsher parts. I'm gonna make sure my foundation is a little more even. The brush is good, but I'm just gonna make sure it's not and blends in to my skin well. I'm gonna be using shape tape, and I've been using it for like one or two months already. I really love it. It's thick enough. You know, just for all of my blemishes, it blends really well. Also, like no wonder people like Ship Tip Show so much. I just I just think it's a little bit on the pricey side. With the Ship Tip, I'm literally covering all of my scar. Just gonna blend slower. drag at all so that it will be covering everything so I always use like the leftover concealer just like around my nose for the redness but I don't want to specifically put the concealer on my nose because that will be like a little bit too much and the area around my nose will look cakey very easily So you can tell that this one is still there, like my over here is completely gone. This one cause like the scar is obviously a lot more worse, so I'm gonna do a second now. I'm gonna be using my LHD powder because it is really mattifying. It's not too much very dry, but it's a very nice mattifying if you like to go for the very matte look. Concealer. You just gotta make sure you really get all the concealer set because <laughs> especially because I have so much concealer on. I'll still be powdering my face. This shade and light contour and just I'm gonna put a lot of yellow, a yellow shade around my T zone. I want to take this lighter shade and just like put it against my cheekbone. For the contouring, I'll be using the Can Make because it's a little bit more grey. Leftover powder on my nose. I'm just gonna do a little curve here, there, but not too obvious. But I'll be taking this Eat Cosmetic Eyebrow Pencil to just do the shape of it. The general shape. I'm using this small black 
brow pencil from Epic House to just do the ends. Then I'll be taking this brown one because it's thin. So I'll just be drawing like brow hairs at the front as light as I can. I'm gonna be using this gel as like a brown gel to just comb through the front part of my hair. I am going to use a little bit of grey with a blending brush. Even more precise. Now using this brush, taking a little bit of taking more white, probably like 70% of white to this blue, and then kind of just patting it a little bit on my hand lightly to kind of blend it and then putting on my lid. I'll draw it slightly under where you usually draw your eyeliner. I'll be taking on this really precise one, take like black. The black shadow to the eyeliner. The lower lash part. I'm just gonna be using it on the like the whole. Okay. We're contouring with just this. I'm going to do a little bit of blusher. I'll be taking the ColourPop blush, this shade. Just a little bit on the high parts of my cheek here and just blend it down towards the front, the, the contour area. I'm using a lip liner. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Because I spent so much time today 
doing this look and for a while I'm just so anxious that it will turn out very bad. Welcome to me. 